lot of people don't know where to put drawers in a closet design. Usually I recommend to put the drawers in the center or in a spot where you've got a lot of room where you can extend those drawers. Most closets, the shoe storage is atrocious. They're on the floor, they're buried underneath hanging clothes, you can't find them. It is far better to have shelving that you could see the shoes and find exactly the pair you need for that day. When we're working with customers, a lot of times we're going to look at how wide those sections should be. In general, we want to make those sections wider because it'll be more cost effective for the customer. However, the sections do need to be designed based off that person's usage. Most of us don't have enough space to begin with. So what we first do to make sure we use every inch is first we take a laser measuring device to measure both the top and the bottom and then we design the closet to fully extend from one wall to the other wall so there's not an inch of space missed. The first thing we do is look for different things, we call them obstructions, that'll mess up a design. So maybe it might be an access panel, maybe it might be an outlet. We'll measure exactly where those are at and then when we're designing we want to make sure that your drawers or support sections are in the middle of those so you have full access. Corners in a closet can be a challenge. One of the ways that we do it is to use corner shelves that can either be angled or curved. Another way would sometimes be to have hanging on one wall and then maybe shelving your drawers on the opposite wall so again it's easy to see everything that you've got. If someone is older and climbing up on a ladder it's difficult. We have a pull down rod so on clothing on an upper level, you just pull the rod down and it comes, the clothing comes to you. The best way to ensure that a closet is not overstuffed, it's to first declutter, get rid of things that you don't need, or seasonalize your wardrobe. 